Hey guys, welcome to another video from Historic Militaria. Today we're looking at another 9mm export Mauser broom handle pistol. And uh, in case you haven't tuned in to any other videos, uh, the 9mm export round was a 9x25 round, which was extremely powerful. It's basically the 30 Mauser necked up to 9mm. It was only made for this gun initially. Uh, Mauser developed it. Mauser made it for the pistols. Uh, a few carbines were made in it. They did make a couple of bolo-sized guns in it, which I think is insane. But uh, this is a full-size Mauser broom handle made in this caliber. Uh, it is a very standard gun from the outside. There's really no way to tell that is it is in 9mm export if you just take a cursory glance at it. Um, all the markings are the same. Your tangent sight goes out to a thousand meters. Your extractor is the same. Your uh, chamber markings are the same. This gun is a fairly late nine millimeter export. And you've got your same crown U mark here. Uh, I don't know exactly when they stopped making the nine millimeter export. They were definitely phased out completely by World War I. Uh, started about 1904 in about serial number 50,000 and this one obviously is one of the much much later ones uh, I will say most of the nine millimeter exports I have seen have seen hard service. This one really is no exception um, You've got bluing loss here You've got bluing loss along here um, This gun has definitely been carried and used but it is still very serviceable in you know, fairly nice condition. Uh, you've got your standard wood grips, your standard Mauser markings there. Everything else looks very much the same. The one thing that the nine exports have is your flat here and here are sometimes going to be a little bit more bulked up for that nine millimeter cartridge and of course and this gun's already been cleared your bore is going to be a nine millimeter so you're gonna to have to look carefully at any gun that you're not sure it is worth taking a look i have seen uh several not several but a few nine exports being sold as 30 mausers by just people who didn't bother to look the other thing about these and this is not always true but often true is if you open your gun up and we'll try and do this one-handed we'll put this down real quick open our gun is you're gonna see that you've got a groove there on your follower to help feed that straight nine millimeter cartridge. Now, obviously a 7.63 broom handle, a caliber broom handle isn't gonna have that. Uh, and not all the nine millimeter guns are gonna have that as well. I have seen guns with a numbered factory number follower that don't have it. So if yours does not have it, don't think it's not original to the gun. And anyone who tells you that all nine millimeters had that groove right there is wrong. There's no other way to put it, they're wrong. Uh, but most did. So it's a general rule, it's safe to say, if you see one of these in a gun that is in 30 Mauser, you're looking at something unusual and you better take a look at that bore diameter to make sure that it is truly in 7.63. Um, hope you've enjoyed taking a look at another nine export. These are unusual guns. There's not a lot floating around. A lot went to places where guns didn't come back from. Uh, Africa, Asia, South America, and who knows what happened to them. But um, if you like what you're taking a look at, like and subscribe, leave a comment, and watch more. We'll be doing more for you. Thanks for viewing.